Are you ready to join me for the grand unboxing ceremony of the best Prowler conditioning sled? The Rose Echo Style Sled. With me is United States Powerlifting Association coach, John Domingo. We are here with John Domingo of USPA, United States Powerlifting Association Authority. And we know that we don't want to get muscular soreness to interfere with our power lifting when we do conditioning drills. Therefore, I introduce the grand unboxing of the Rogue Dog Sled. Be ready for this? I can't wait. All right, so we're gonna unbox the Rogue Dog Sled. And John, you got the tools? Let's do the unveiling. Rip it open. Okay, now this, what John is now opening is gonna be, I'm pretty sure that's the, the strap, right? Yeah, strap, feels like it. Accessories. Jump rope. Okay, well that was a throw in and I might <laughs> add that I was able to get free shipping by having a third item. A little $10 jump rope got me the free shipping. So make sure you use your rogue representative because they will steer you in the right direction to save money because otherwise the shipping was going to be a pretty penny on this this is like christmas time see all that good platform strength from power lifting you could bust into a box like nobody's business <laughs> okay just a little packing material. Wow, there it is. Oh my gosh, that sled is gonna be bringing so much joy to so many people for years to come. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. In fact, we're already planning a fundraiser with a Prowler push. The Rogue S35E sled is my favorite since February 2015. It's strictly a pulling sled with release straps for a shot out of a cannon burst of speed. Talk about adrenaline and it's an all out blast. Just so you know, only sleds with skids on the bottom as opposed to a solid metal plate, offer plastic skis for noise control. So to add a pushing sled to my fit toy box, I opted for the Echo Dog Sled. Okay, so they lied. It's nine, these are all of these are 19 millimeter. It won't work? No, I mean, you have the 19 millimeter, but... <laughs> They didn't have 19 millimeter written at all. Well, then again, you only have the metric, so I guess we can't talk about that. Yeah. No, we can't talk about that in the video. Well, they don't tell you what to, to get. They just, the parts list is what I printed out on my little card so that I can know what to anticipate. Mm -hmm. Non-eccentric movement can avoid or minimize soreness while benefiting the cardiovascular systems. Both short, intense anaerobic and long, steady state aerobic bouts can be done. That's uh, both supports on, all eight bolts on. Fabulous. Well, the actual product weight is 87 pounds with a capacity of 450 plus. Sound is a concern my neighbors notice when we're using the noisy sled and I want more sled. So come with me as I test out the Prowler style Rogue Echo Dog Sled with plastic skis to quell the noise. A little power lift action there. Onto the utility cart. Because we've got a ways to pull it. We've got 50 feet across some landscaping rock to get it to the trail. 
and we'll save our energy for the drag, the push. But first, we're gonna get some squat warm up here. So John and I precede the sled trial with a light squat workout to warm up the tissues. He's 40 years my junior, so we represent a broad demographic of power lifters using the prowler. John demonstrates the typical not so recommended approach with a sprint position of forward leaning on the balls of the feet. This is to be avoided particularly for older people as it stresses the Achilles tendon excessively. Since I have two Achilles tendon surgeries to my name, yes, the plight of an aging athlete, hardwired for explosivity, I will follow the sage advice. Starting strength advocates a flat-footed power walk approach to pushing rather than calf dominant on the balls of the feet, a safer, more effective method Here's the best practice for your prowler workout. First, commit to 100 feet, 30 yards, without a load. Then add loads incrementally to achieve 85% of maximum effort per set. So to recap, the recommended technique for pushing the prowler style weighted sled is vertical posture with the chest up, initiating with a heel strike rather than on the toes. Elbows bent and braced against the rib cage with long strides, engaging the abdominals, hips, and hip extensors is more demanding and safer. All right, John, we've given it the good old college try. And just for the review purposes, what is your inclination without having a study to actually prove it? <laughs> well, it's incredibly time efficient. I mean, just this little incline, uh, I mean, it beat both of us up pretty, pretty, pretty badly. We were both huffing and puffing. You yeah, noticed, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had to cheat and lift my heels up. <laughs> yeah, that uh, tight position back here where you keep it tight, it's uh, feels like it'd help a lot with the bench just because you're keeping your back really tight in that same position where you'd be in the bench press. I'm convinced this is going to be a regular part of my backyard fun right here. Well, I might mention that the skis can be ordered with the actual sled if you choose the drop down option to add the skis for $30. If you neglect to see that little drop down option and you go and add the skis separately, it'll cost you $70. So, and it was just the fine print. So I'm glad that it was brought to my attention that I needed to get my plastic skis as the add on to the actual sled rather than choose it in my shopping cart separately. Or as a separate purchase? Yeah, it would cost me another 40 bucks because it, skis were 30 as an additional. And if you bought them separately, it would have been 70.